Okay, so raspberrypi.org has released an SD card speed test and uh, all the instructions are on the website and I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, now when I went through it, I, could, I was trying to work out if it did it with an external reader, but then I thought if your external reader isn't fast enough, that would affect the test. But it looks like it just reads uh, from the card that's running the operating system. So you install Raspbian on your SD card and then uh, and they say, because they, they talk about a newly formatted, a new or newly formatted SD card, but I guess that just means like a fresh install of the operating system. But let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But reading through the comments on here, 54 comments, uh, some people have asked the same question as I was thinking as to, can you do it on just, so I've got loads of cards and I'd like to put each one in and test it and just have a look. I bought a new one uh, recently from Amazon, which is this one. Uh, this was very cheap, but the reason I bought it is because it has A1 uh, written on it. And uh, I learned recently that A1 uh, is supposed to be a lot better for an operating system with faster read and write speeds. So I thought I'd give it a test and I thought I'd compare it to a class 10 Kingston card that I've had for a while and basically see how it works out. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is my fresh install of Raspbian on the Magix memory card, the new one I bought from Amazon. So let's hit Control Alt T and put in sudo apt update. Sudo apt install agnostics. And yes. Okay, so we can close down terminal now. And under accessories, we should have, is it that one? Raspberry Pi Diagnostics, that's the one. Determines whether an SD card can read and write data fast enough to provide adequate performance should be run on a newly or newly, a new or newly formatted SD card run test. Yeah, so there is no other option to select what card. So it obviously is the card that is in your Pi, the, the card that your operating system is running from. And I don't know how long this takes. Pass. So we do show log. Here we go. So SD card speed test run one, prepare file sequential write. RAND 4K write, RAND 4K read, sequential write speed 29127, target is 10,000, so that's way over, random write speed 840, target 500, yeah that's way over isn't it? So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Kingston card, so I'll do that next and I'll put the two tests side by side in the edit. Okay, so this is the Kingston card now, ready to run the test. So hit go. So in one of my previous videos, I did uh, about the new Raspberry Pi imager, uh, which was the SD card writing software, versus Belena Etcher in a speed test. Uh, just of note, uh, it was much quicker doing it on my Mac this morning to do both of these cards because I wasn't screen capturing, and it seems that screen capturing really impacts the performance on my Mac. It's nearly a, it will be a 10 year old Mac this year. Um, so just bear that in mind on that test. Uh, the Raspberry Pi imager isn't actually that slow at all. Belena Etcher was faster, but obviously the Raspberry Pi imager still has the advantage of being able to click on the operating system and then it will download it and install it to the card. So in some ways it could be better. Here we go, we got a fail. So show log. So, Sequential write speed, so that was all right, pass. Uh, but the random write speed, yeah, 213, target 500. So it's way, way slower than the other card. That's interesting. Is there much more down the bottom? Well, there's, there's more, so let's expand that so I've got that, so I can use that. Oh, run one, run two, run three. Yeah, interesting. So. This could make a big difference to how your operating system feels if you're running from an SD card. Obviously I have loads of videos showing how to run from an SSD, which is gonna be much, much better. And I suppose I ought to do this test uh, on an SSD, but I'll do that in another video uh, and to see if it works doing it from an SSD uh, using something like Berryboot. It'll be interesting to see if that works. 
Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.